Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So here we'll see how to refresh our UI based on Firebase notification where we'll just reload part of the UI and refresh the UI with new information and we'll do it along with Firebase, GetX and Stream subscription. So if I'm going to place an order over here, we'll see that there is notification and at the same time we'll see there is a new order that pops up which reloads the section automatically. So let's go ahead and do it. So as you can see that we have a new order and this page over here actually auto-related this section, not the whole page actually, this section has auto-related after the notification. Now this is awesome if you have a business or an app where you want to refresh your UI based on certain events. Now let me walk you through how to do it. So first over here, I have declared a variable which is rxint and it is obs type. And of course, I'm using getx over here. And at the same time over here, I have created a method. This method should get triggered whenever we have a notification from our server side, which is Firebase. And as you can see that the value would be auto triggered and increased. Now let's go ahead and find our Firebase. This is our Firebase listening method where it keeps listening for any kind of Firebase incoming messages. And as you can see that over here, we have called this method set trigger. Remember this set trigger method is being called from here, which increases value. So once a notification that pops up or a notification happens, this listening method gets triggered and it calls this method and the value is increased. Now remember that our trigger reload, this one is an OBS type, which is reactive, which means that GetX and Flutter, it always keep listening for any changes to this value. Now, since we call this, the value would change. And as it change, you can find your UI and within the UI itself, you can listen to the changes. And at the top, I have declared a stream subscription object and this stream subscription object inside use effect. And what it does is it gets our controller, which is this controller over here, the one that we have. And then it listens for this value to be changed. So as you can see that, this observable variable, which is trigger reload, which we have declared over here, it has a method called listen, just like Firebase object has listening method, it also has. So it looks for listening and if it listens and find the changes, then we call the refetch method. This refetch method, all it does is reload our information from the server. Now, the beautiful thing about it that all you need to do, you need to register a subscription and then you have to have use effect. And then within use effect, you listen for your reactive variable. And once you do that, every time you have a new request, you will see that over here it reloads. For example, another example is say, for example, I'm sending a notification one more time and we'll see that it reloads. So this page reloaded. So this page has reloaded. So this is awesome way to connect your Firebase, GetX and refresh UI.